good morning everyone so today's new topic is about non functional testing so let's start today's session so today's agenda is to understand why non functional testing what is non functional testing what are the types of non functional testing let's see for first topic why non functional testing no one wants a slow unreliable system that cost a fortune to modify that's right building a system with only functional requirement is relatively easy but ultimately pointless let's understand this let me take one example again it's flip card so concentrate how much time it will require to open flipkart.com so it might be 2 seconds it might be 3 second let's see i'm clicking on enter and it took less than 1 second this is the requirement by flipkart that if any user is clicking or entering flipkart.com so he should get pop up or the login page or this page as you are seeing within 1 second now let's consider same thing flipkart.com if i am entering flipkart.com and it's taking me by 2 3 to 4 minutes will it be okay for flipkart of course not because customer cannot wait for 5 minute or 3 minutes whatever it is okay so this is where non functional testing comes into picture so it checks it's the response time as per the requirement of the owner the flipkart dot uh, com the owner the requirement is any user should get this page within one second now let's see what is non functional testing so non functional testing checks all the aspect not covered in functional test it includes the performance usability scalability and reliability of the software so the performance is what ex exactly speed scalability stability speed is what it determines whether the application respond quickly we have seen usability is what whether the application is user friendly you have seen it's an user friendly flipkart scalability is what determines maximum user load the software application can handle that is with the scalability and reliability is what that the software should be working as per the expectation for long duration now after knowing why and what now let's see what are the types of non functional testing so performance testing load testing soap testing compatibility testing volume testing stress testing scalability testing so these are all the types of the non functional testing let's see one by one to testing in detail now performance testing is what this type of testing is used for testing speed you have seen the speed response time after clicking something how much response time it's getting to place an order how much time it will require that is for the response time stability it's checking the stability whether uh, uh, the load is in very whether it's the application is stable or not reliability for long run is it working or not scalability and resource usage of a software application under particular workload now in this what happen user and response time there are the two categories on that we apply the load let's take an example flipkart.com its requirement is near by to 10 lakh user should log in and the response time should be 2 second now the load is what 10 lakh is a load okay it's an user load that is where the particular workload they are see after that let's see the load testing it helps you to check the quality of your system software application under high peak loads let's understand this by one example okay now here the requirement from the flipkart is what that 10 lakh user should be able to log in at one time and the response time should be 2 seconds so in load testing what we will be checking we will be checking this condition 
as well as the condition which is less than the current requirement that is 5 lakh you, we check but what is the response time? Is it the two seconds? It is the one second, whatever it is. Then what is the response time for the seven lakh user if at once they're logging? So we check in the load testing. After load testing, let's see stress testing. It helps you to check the quality of your system software application by applying more load than the design number of the user. Okay, let's understand this. Now, the design user requirement from the Flipkart is 10 lakh and the response time should be two seconds. Response times is what? Again, I will show you. If I'm entering flipkart.com, that it should not go beyond two seconds. It should be before two seconds. That is the response time. Now in stress testing is what? Like after 10 lakh user, we check whether the response time is two seconds? No. After 10 lakh user, the response time is coming three seconds. After 10 lakh 500 user, again, this is the three second. After that, we are increasing the user 11 lakh. It's giving four second time to open the web console or the Flipkart website. So this is all about the stress testing. Applying more load than the design number of user. That is stress testing. Scalability testing is what? This type of testing is used to find out whether the application software is getting crash. Now, every software gets crash at certain time. So at what time it gets crash that is tested in this testing. Let's take an example. Now the requirement was 10 lakh users, two seconds. In the scalability testing, we are increasing the uh, user. That is 15 lakh. Now it's taking 20 seconds. For the 10 seconds, it's taking 2 seconds. For the 15 lakh, it's taking 20 seconds. 70 lakh, it's taking 30 seconds. 17 lakh, 501, it's taking 3 minutes. 18 lakh, it's taking nearby to 7 minutes. And at the point of 19 lakh, it get crash. That is what the work of the scalability testing is. After that, volume testing. This type of testing analyzes how, how well the system operates under the ever-growing volumes of the process data. The process data is what, let's take an example of the Flipkart. Flipkart is having huge kind of uh, information available on its website. So there are some of the products. Now there are the information about the user. Someone has to buy, sell, whatever it is. Okay, now Flipkart had given the daily limit of 500 GB data. So in the volume testing, we check whether all the data, whether all the data or uh, under the growing volume of the process data, the process data, which we are having on the Flipkart website, whether it's getting tested till 500 GB. If the data is getting beyond 500 GB, so how the system is reacting towards it, whether it's getting crash or not, that is what we check in the volume testing, but with respect to data. Okay. After that soap testing, this type of testing is used to estimate that the efficiency of a program under high loads, however, the load continuously increasing and lasts for the long time. Best example for this, we can say, let's say, Previously, we were having TV. Okay. Now, in this TV, by accidentally, or we can say, while watching, you were sleeping. So, for 12, 10 hours, whether the TV is continuously working or not, it was working. So, that is what SOAP testing is. That is for the non-technical aspect. Now, let's see for the technical aspect of software. Now this software currently is of our Microsoft Office. We are using PowerPoint. So what they have done in the SOAP testing, so they have checked whether the PPT or this slide or any slide can continuously work. Like one hour it will work. 
two hours it will work three hours it will work then four hours also it will work what about five six seven what about more than ten what about two to three weeks will it work so this is all about smoke testing it is also called as endurance testing after that the last one is compatibility testing it tests whether the application software is installable on all os version of windows mac windows or linux so on let's take an example now we can say that microsoft office is designed for windows uh, windows version okay now can we install the microsoft office on uh, windows server or linux server it's not possible it's very hard to use okay that is what compatibility testing is okay so this is what non functional testing was why what and what are the types if you have any kind of a doubt do comment we will definitely do our best to provide you solution for your question thank you